हेलो एंड वेलकम टू हाउ टू सिटीजन दिस इज अ बोनस एपिसोड इफ यू सॉ द टाइटल दिस इज अ बोनस एपिसोड देर आर रीजन श्रेयस देर आर रीजन देर आर रीजन इट हेज बीन अ रोलर कोस्टर जस्ट सी समथिंग बिफोर यूल स्टार्ट माई वन व्यूअर इज देर राइट Yes, absolutely. Yeah, just, you have one viewer. Just, who's just, here? Who's here? Because everybody's looks are all over the place. It's like <laughs> you know, people with bad vision playing tennis. You don't know where the court is or where the net is, and you're hitting the ball anywhere. That's the that's yeah. That's the my guy. That's, that's my one my one fan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But can I just say it's truly an honor to uh, get you on this uh, podcast. I, finally, we have been trying to reach out to you. We have been trying to get your dates, and finally, you are here. Uh, Wait. Let then, me start again. Be- <laughs> let me start between, again. Between the Padma Shri <laughs> and the felicitation by the uh, Anglo. Bishop's <laughs> College in uh, Baroda. Yes, uh, I just didn't have time. <laughs> yes, to be honest. But I said I have to do something for the people. Yes, uh, this is where the BTS ends. Huh. Now I will start my introduction. So again. the BTS. Okay, 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 okay. Let me start the start introduction. Start. Cyrus, you wait. want a formal introduction? <laughs> yes, I will introduce you. Who's watching you. three-year-olds? Yes. <laughs> what is your good morning class is going to happen now? Yes. Shh. No, this is not happening. Shh. This is my show. I'm going to be the finest to... comedians. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> guys, hello and welcome to now, guys, How to Sing. What about the girls? <laughs> It's all going wrong, bro. He's screwing up. I can't be part of this. Yeah. Shreyas, please help. What is going on? <laughs> Let him do the introduction. Sorry, it's sorry. It's required. It is. It's required. The sponsor yeah. says so. It's required. So. It's required. The sponsor in the future says <laughs> yes. so. Yes. Sometimes we can get back sponsor like back taxes. Yes. So they can sponsor even though it's released. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because it's still there in the universe. You get my point. That no? still can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough. Of course, you can have. You have two hundred episodes of uh, understanding advertising. Yeah. What's the show called? <laughs> how to citizen? How to citizen? <laughs> yes. And uh, suddenly you get a sponsor. Then they have to back sponsor us. Okay. Then we better get this intro then to get, get that the, sponsor. Get it later, spot right? on, yeah. yeah. Spot on. Okay. Spot on. Okay. Ah, cool. Now I'm starting. Yeah. Hello and welcome to How to Citizen. This was the BTS that was there, but I wanted to tell you that this BTS is the bonus ep- bonus hmm. episode. This is the bonus episode okay. because we ended the season in the last episode, even though we didn't tell you because the government has screwed our lives. What do you mean? Yeah, so essentially they have deleted the final chapter before we could shoot it wow. from the book itself. So the only people watching the show is the government. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 clearly. Yeah. yeah. And the chapter was called uh, "Struggle for Equality." So essentially, we are not struggling for equality anymore for obvious reasons. So right. they deleted the chapter. Right. So we couldn't get a finale guest because the chapter doesn't But, exist. Oh, I wish you told me all this because I'm all for disparity in income. Yeah. You know, I love the fact that you can earn more than somebody else and spit on them. That I don't is understand. why. This whole equality nonsense. That is why we got you for the other deleted chapter. Ah, sweet, sweet. Which is understanding. A shallow topic for a shallow man. Yes, Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Income And disparity works well with. That but you've run your research, right, Shyam? Because I spent nine months in advertising. I know. And I then know. we had a child. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I really just. Uh, I was about nine, ten months in in Daconias. Yeah. Advertising. Uh, it's like a farmer shop, you know, where nothing happens for. Me. How was that? What did you learn about the human condition? It was like the Rajya Sabha of uh, advertising. Nothing really happened. Okay. So what I did is I, I it was the day of landlines, the, mm. the time on the landlines, nineteen three ninety four. So I would you know go to a black phone, pick it up, and call my friends, and I'd read Henry Todd uh, on the Rajputs. So I've told this story so many because there were only two books: one show on right. advertising mm. and Henry Todd on Rajputs. Right. So I came out with this. <laughs> I don't know who hire you. I know a lot about how Rajput men have baths and stuff like that. Right. And I can explain that, or I can tell you a little bit of. The what has been flicked by which advertising agency? Because right. in the eighties and nineties, eighty percent was flicked. Right, like heartbeat of uh, America became Hamara Bajaj. Oh, you know, you, 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 yeah. I mean, it's just everything was. You just you can understand very quickly. Right, we are the best country in uh, flicking. We are the best flickers in the world. Really, you in think fact, so? In fact, our mothers call us mother flickers. <laughs> So we are, we are. Yes. We, okay. We flick, we <laughs> flick the entire Beatles catalog. You listen to music of the. I won't take the names because you know I'm. Uh, I've had a lot of respect for R. D. Burman. I suppose. Yeah. Things. So, but the f- fact of the matter is, it's all there, right? Yeah. So we've been flicking all the time. Now we flick Telugu movies. Uh, I want to ask Hindi. you: When you oh. were in school, did you flick? Did you cheat off other students? What were you like as a student? I was more of a serial molester of older boys. uh but then that stopped when i reached uh, 15 right i moved on from right. there but uh, cheating was normal in uh, most schools where the people would cog and all that i don't know what it's like now right but not everyone did it you have to have a certain courage or you know you, you got to be good at that were you the one who was showing the answers or were you I'm, looking I'm at the answers i'm too lazy to be i told my good friend kunal uh, vijaykar mm. uh, greatest man india's produce uh, we are just too lazy to cheat so we shouldn't get into it <laughs> kunal and you were in the same no, school che- no, no 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 he's my teacher no he's ah, much okay. older yeah uh no so i'm just saying if you if you're not That, that requires a certain cunning, and you know you got there's there's a lot of energy involved. Yeah, you got to you just don't. The, why are we making light of cheating? Cheating is an art. 
in its own way. That's true. If yeah. you're good at it, if, you, guys, if you want to cheat and get caught, it's different. Yeah. So there was say, four or five guys who would always cog and all that. Mm-hmm. You write on hankies, write on your palm, mm-hmm. you know, notes. Cardboard things. ke piche. Cardboard ke piche, all that yeah. nonsense. Yeah. We, we had a guy in school. Yeah, that's how we <laughs> No, uh, the method was also chitlik ke bathroom mein rakhna hai, hidden. So that you would take a tea break, you yeah. go, yeah. you read it quickly, you come but back. In our school, the teacher would come with you for the tea break and sometimes help you. Because <laughs> oh, you're still writing, right? You got the exam, you got your hands. I mean, come on, bro, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, like, okay, second battle of Panipat, uh, this, uh, and then, you know, I mean, should, should I even own. ask you if you were a serious student in school or not? I Whatever subjects I liked, I was serious, and whatever I didn't, which, I just had a past time. Which were? Like, my podcast, I'm really in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but were you a bully? Were you a class no. clown? I, I was a guy who was trying to spend time not doing the class. Okay. So I was uh, filibustering a lot. Yes. Right, right. And right. I think I was good at that. And by the time I read Xavier's, I became very good at that. Mm. And what you have to do is just find, uh, it sounds arrogant, but you find what the teacher's bugbears are. Mm. Like we had this lit teacher and she was a real leftist as right. they are. Yeah. And she just hated the white man and America in particular. Right. So we were discussing Native Americans and I just took, you know, I said, but you know, they wanted to find a new land and then you got to kill a few people. And it's obviously ridiculously stupid okay. things like that. Yeah. But not because that's what I believe. Yeah. But just to start the conversation. And she took off. Or some chauvinistic statement because very feminist. Is Sylvia Platt and Jermaine Greer and all this. And you, but you just get under their skin. So that's what I learned. How to get under people's skin. So basically wow. they were filibustering their own class because yeah, 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 you yeah. asked yeah, questions. Yeah, it, becomes yeah. A, it becomes a fight. But it's an ego fight. The ego fights are great. They don't end, right? Yeah. Because then everybody has to get their last word in. So it's not really a fight about a subject as yeah. much as it's about my views on the subject. Right. Right. Because it's ego now. It's yeah. personal. Yeah. So yeah, I, I find that. And I tell that to all the kids out there. You want to kill time in school. Get to the <laughs> point where the teacher, you know, there's a touchy topic that get to that sacred cow. Uh, uh, just to use yes. a metaphor, yes. it's just a metaphor. Yes, yes. Let me tell you to be vegetarian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sanskriti and Parampara, it's very clear that uh, 12 to 15 percent of Indians are supposed to be vegetarian. Yes. Uh, that's the actual. I, I mean, of course, it yeah, is. Of course, yeah, it yeah. is. Uh, so in seventh so standard, now you won't need to put your foot in your mouth. I'm there. Ah, you're there. You're always there. This you can is... put your foot in my mouth also. There's now no you know. Now you know why this is the bonus episode because yeah. this is going to happen. Uh, so seventh standard, me, which school were you in, and what year? Same school. I didn't have change schools. I'm not an army kid. Uh, I didn't get thrown out, though I should have. In Bombay. Yeah, it's a school for the poor called Cathedral School. Right. Uh, yeah, if you have only one chauffeur, you'll feel out of place. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so seventh standard was very much there. Why seventh? Why have we come to seventh? Because this is the seventh chan- standard chapter. Oh. Civics chapter. Excellent. Except we didn't have advertising in civics. You didn't? No, we had car parking. <laughs> okay. I'm South Bombay. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And straight away, that was the subject. It was like, learn to park your car yeah, properly. Of course. You know? of course. As a 12 year old, you need to <laughs> learn course, these things. Yeah. Like but what do you think skills. is unique about uh, Indian advertising? What what is innately quintessential to the ads, to the See, sensibilities when I, of Indian When I was ads? in the Kunis in 93, 94, my experience was that a lot of people in adver- advertising, and uh, being honest here, uh, this is my opinion, mm. maybe wrong, are. Uh, are the kind of people who have little knowledge about lots of things but no in-depth knowledge. Mm. It's a bit like the ministers that give speeches sometimes. Mm. They suddenly want to talk economics but they're not profound. Right. They're not in-depth. They're right. not, the analysis is just skin deep, right? Correct, correct. So that's the advertising thing. You must be able to talk about anything. So right. You could be a podcaster. Right. You need just a little information. Correct. Lots of subjects, cocktail correct. parties. But there's nothing else. There's no yeah. depth. It's really shallow. Right. I don't think that's really changed. But that's the nature of the game. You yeah. got to sell products. What does it matter? Yeah, it's oh, not a novel. Yeah. An ad has to be no, a little shallow. Have to more than that. But, but they pontificate a lot and they have these uh, you know everybody puts on a little bit of a show of how artistic and great they are and it's in the clothes and everything it all bores me right you dress in a certain way and you you know give off a certain vibe and you quote certain people yeah. and you listen to certain music and you have to have that avatar right which after some time is like really <laughs> what can just be a guy from anywhere doing anything and just you know there's you a lot of love for Piyush Pandey because he was that guy. Uh-huh. He's just your everyday guy who liked cricket, played cricket, you know, and he was just a, he was a freaking genius. Correct. But he didn't wear it anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came, he hindified everything, he localized everything, he understood what people wanted. Right. He had that ability to do mm-hmm. all that. He was a great guy. I love that guy. He was also my neighbor. He gave my German Shepherd a whiskey for the first time. Oh, wow. Oh. But I used to walk and these uh, first floor and they would be all wearing black and laughing at Piyush's jokes. There would be five chamchas like right. Akbar's Darbar, you know, literally. So, sorry, Akbar, Akbar is standing there in the Darbar and everybody has to laugh, right, when the emperor was of course. Like, funny or not. So he would, and you know, and the guy was a truth. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. So he saw me walking the dog and he's a nice dog. So I said, yeah, of course, you're going to say nice me, that's pedophilia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not okay. ABC. Yeah. So, come up, come up. Bacha, aja, aja, upar aja. 
and so he came I come up I sit with them and he started giving my dog uh, whiskey german shepherd uh, with the finger the and your your dog actually had loved the whiskey it. he loved it <laughs> He loved it, and I didn't know about this concept. I mean, don't give your dogs alcohol, but it's just like a token thing. But yeah. Was, you, but he would. You're telling me I, people. I just, I'm just telling you, sorry, because he was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm much younger than him at that point. I go there. This is, you know, legendary guy, and he, he treats everybody nicely. You know, that's some great people have that ability to treat. How does it become a Piyush Pandey tribute episode? But I, I know that's... you, you turned it into I, one because I, I as you, as you self admitted yeah. that you like filibustering. So I yeah. can, I can see what you're doing here no, now. No, no. <laughs> but I can see this is also an indication of how. Uh, powerful advertising could be that an advertise an advertising man got a dog no, to drink he, whiskey the story you've not understood because you're stupid so let me explain <laughs> let me explain the story the story is that he may be a great man but he's still him Right. Yeah, so he doesn't have to get into an avatar. Right. There's no avatar. Correct. Okay. He's just him. And Correct. then later on, as I you know started working in this line, I did ads with him, etc., oh. etc., and we became a little close uh, here and there. He just treated you the same. Yeah. So the point is that you know that's the great thing. Then the other guys in advertising, they have this. They have to wear the advertising. Right. It's like right. they wake up and they put on the advertising clothes and then they come out and yeah, then they yeah, quote yeah. the same people and say the same things. Thank God it was not the internet age. People would have gone bizarre. <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, I don't know how it would have ended. But so, even now that happens. I mean, it's I don't everywhere. Know, I'm an old man, Meghna. Uh, yeah. Don't judge by my beautiful looks. So, you, <laughs> you have done ads, no, yourself? I've been forced to. Yeah, and <laughs> uh, what, what sort of ads did you really like to do? Anything that ends fast. That's always been my biography. It's mm. like if it ends quickly and the girl says okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I I got to work with interesting people like Pralad Kakkar and all. Mm -hmm. One thing, can I just say without sounding sexist? There are always pretty girls on this set. Mm -hmm. You're a young man. You come there. I mean, that's so much better. I'm used to working with people, you know, that look like me, and they are horrible. The women look like me also. The, the few that were there, so it was terrible. So uh, just being on a set with him was great. Mm -hmm. Right. And he liked his food, and you know, so all the incidentals uh, beyond the ad. And, but yeah, of course they take the ad seriously. Some of them, and th that's a little irritating because it's a stupid ad. Did you have a <laughs> favorite know. one though? I like all the Pepsi ads the most because uh, I just it, it's just easy character to play. Hmm. He's this buffoon. Hmm. You know, the whole character was just a buffoon, and I'm basically a bit of a buffoon myself. Hmm. So I was quite happy to do that. Yeah. Not, not don't have to be very pretentious there. When you're doing the modeling ones and you're not million Soman, then you know you're being a fraud because you're selling something <laughs> you're not really good looking. You know, but they're giving you the good. Yeah, so literally, so I've done that as well. And you're trying wow. to you sell a product, and you and you know you're like, oh, but you really you think girls are going to look at me like that? You're like, Who's that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. Turns out in that they don't even have your face. It's just your hand. Just they hand. got it for the hand. Just my, sometimes just my finger. <laughs> <laughs> don't risk the whole hand. Yeah. I'm going to read the introduction to yes, the chapter. Yes. Okay. Yes, Cyrus. Um, you'll wake me up when you're finished. <laughs> yeah, of yeah, course. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, well. understanding advertising is the chapter. This is a deleted chapter from oh. the seventh standard uh, civics book because the government wants to rationalize the curr curriculum. Okay. Um, today, we are surrounded by advertisements or ads as we call them. We watch these on television, listen to them on radio, see them on the streets and in newspapers and magazines. Even taxis and rickshaws carry advertisements on them. When we go to cinemas, we see advertisements before the film begins and on the internet. They often pop up when we go into different websites. What do advertisements do? How do they attract our attention? Read more to find out. It's like an advertisement. Thanks. <laughs> that of the chapter also. You know, that was really beautiful. Thank the you. best literature I've in my life. Frankly. Thank you. But did you Inspired. see there is a Sudhir, Sudhir Chaudhary on the front page? Like he looks what very is, weirdly this like picture? Where Sudhir, Sudhir Chaudhary. Sudhir Chaudhary. Look at this guy. No, no, but Sudhir where is Chaudhary. this picture taken from? This is like I don't billboards know. and together where are they? But yeah, this is not Bombay. I don't know what this is exactly. This could be London. A lot of Indians are advertising in London. Look yeah. at Rishi Sunak, for God's sake. Even but uh, even that is torn advertisements everywhere. Yeah. It's it's very weird. But well, um, I'm a big fan, uh, not advertising per se, but of just hitting people visually. Not hmm. to say that the present government does that at all. Right. But it's just like growing up, you know, with a Kurbani picture release, then you're driving in one road and there are 36 small posters of Kurbani. You can't make, make you know, yeah, it's yeah, in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you drive back. I think that was just fabulous visual. You don't need more. You don't even know Firoz Khan. You don't need all that. Correct. You just need to see the word Kurbani. Correct. And it's 
it's in your head it's in your head it's Correct. in your head and then after 3 days it's so in your head yeah so i i i think that's a great idea for advertising sometimes don't explain anything just put the name out just shove it down people's throat you come it back. just sticks to your head now moving on to the metaphor and politics something you know yeah of course it's a great idea absolutely, absolutely. kim jong un my favorite statesman of all time yeah. a man who killed his uncle with a f aircraft what is aircraft uh, anti aircraft fire anti aircraft so the gun nozzle is a cannon so, right it's a 58 a- in 58 inches long is the barrel of the gun nozzle some gun yeah yeah no so he was basically the pass for all over right mm. because you you can't i mean it's just not scientifically mm. impossible to shoot someone like that right, right? Yeah. just a small human being in this big whatever and then i think the german shepherds took over so it was about a great guy yeah. so his posters are everywhere and you have to keep his poster in just think of the thinking of the grandfather yeah. so in the house you have to have the poster up yeah. and if by a chance they have inspectors coming to check if it's moved this way or it's not clean or they find a dust particle yeah. three generations are put in a concentration camp So, but look at the visual appeal. That by the time the next generation is born, they just believe this guy. Right. It's he's fabulous. like a he's just like boom, a god. Boom, he's brainwashing. He's just brainwashing. Yeah, it just it doesn't give you a chance to breathe. You don't you think a lot of a lot of the big campaigns? See, now it's a little tougher because they can't stand out because there's so much clutter mm-hmm. in the internet. But we were TV generation, bro. Yeah. Uh, Megna, I don't know whether you remember. But my generation, hundred percent remember all the ads. Yeah. Right. In terms of the because there's only one TV, one channel, Correct. one set of ads. A few shows you are watching. Yeah. yeah. Ad the models were big heroes. Yeah. They were big stars. I remember specifically like Cadbury ads were great. Yeah. Like the again Kya meant nothing. Kiaswad is in the game. Kiaswad is in the game. Pandey. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Pandey ji. The right. whole whole thing was Sorry about the, huh. the, the whole thing was about selling chocolate. Yeah, but it was actually just like cricket playing genius. cricket. Yeah, look at his genius. Never did that before. Never before did. it was about love, verb, and all that. Yeah, yeah. He got a slice of life. He brought, but he got real slices of life yeah. into it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we did the uh, Cadbury ad with Kare Wale ko bahana chahiye. That was the slogan. Kare Wale ko bahana chahiye. That, that nice. b- again, great genius because people are feeling bad now to eat chocolate, but in North India they uh, serve chocolates in the weddings and all. Mm-hmm. It's right. part of the it's served, right? Right. So it's fantastic thinking. Yeah, he just and. Uh, brandy sales went up hmm yeah for the uh, because of those ads yeah, well not the, when i did the ad uh, it went down but just in before and after so what do you think made that ad effective though like so i w- i would specifically with with the peop- identification you have mm-hmm. to identify with the culture the subculture that's coming out mm-hmm. a you don't feel bad about eating chocolate b everybody is eating chocolate because there's a whole family at a wedding who's eating chocolate for example in mm-hmm. one of the ads mm-hmm. and that's all types that are represented so that's good thinking again mm-hmm. because you got a whole slice of you know cha cha chachi mama mami dad mom the dada dadi nana nani mm-hmm. and right. kids and all that and the next generation then also loafers all types Correct. they literally have a collage of all types So everyone and everybody is eating chocolate. It's great, mm. great yeah. concept. Yeah. There was this uh, plywood brand ad which I really liked, where this uh, Sardar child basically comes out of a bus and he goes into a house, all like, oh, kya hai ye, whatever. And then he sees on the wood carved some name, and then he has like this flashback of, you know, like he's like this old man who was in love with this uh, woman and died, etc. So basically, उसका पुनर्जन्म हुआ था. And the way he saw it was through that plywood. Like carving, uh, it was such a great ad. Oh, that makes like, sense, Riyas. Yeah. Buy you buy plywood, plywood you, right you buy your <laughs> asli parivar with it and all that. Yes. Pehla <laughs> avatar. Where was I in 1659? <laughs> Do you remember any ads that you like? Um, I'll tell you an ad I wrote that you people didn't like at all. Kama Sutra you, was your favorite. Uh, uh, Nirod and Kama Sutra were his two ads. One of he, the recent ones that I liked is Khali and Ambuja Cement. It came out recently. Oh, Khali. Like, yeah, Khali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Very good ad. But uh, I just want to say a quick ad story. I wrote an ad once for Virat Kohli uh, okay. a few years ago, yeah, yeah. and it was a time when is it the one where Gautam Gambhir comes in and holds his? Co- <laughs> no, no, that 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 somebody else wrote that. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to get that yeah. script. Yeah. But uh, in the script, it had something like uh, the secret to my success is this this product, and he was going through such a rough patch that I literally had three hundred comments. But his only rough patch was recently. Yeah, it was recent only. It was a recent oh, ad. Oof, oh, ouch. it was a recent ad. Yeah, okay. but then, but then that's bad timing, I guess. But that's not his fault. You were hoping that the patch would end. No, no, no. I was hoping the patch would start so that we get engagement for that. Oh, because that's how the advertising industry oh, works. Reverse right? thinking. Reverse thinking. Very good. This but you just had to write that one line. That's what you is have your paid surname, for. Yeah. Is your surname Pandey? Yeah. Your surname Pandey? No. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> 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 क्या useless ads बनाते हैं आजकल? Like oh, seriously, you're ahead of like, his time. Yeah. Reversing the thought process. <laughs> He wants you to question. You're questioning is why is Virat being given success when he's not successful at this juncture in his life? That's huge thinking. Yeah. See, as an advertiser, what I want to do is I want to start. But only Gautam Gambhir wrote it. Uh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so, like, you you have any favorite ads though? Not the ones you wrote. Uh, not the. Uh, I also. My can I mention mine? Yes, yeah, so yeah. I forget of because course, I'm aging. Yeah, of course. Uh, is an ad from the 80s called B J Babu Bai Jagjivan Das. 
BJ Babu Bai Jagjeev and us it's a little BJ is oh, yeah, huh? that's used huh. and we all because BJ you know means uh, you wouldn't understand me now but there's this uh, form of sexual intercourse where I, okay, a man yeah, go and, um, yes yes whoever yes, yes. they have oral uh, relations yeah So that became very, you know, naughty. Yeah, everybody, hey, BJ, BJ, BJ. Uh-huh. So everybody would just in the cinema sing the song <laughs> because of the implication. It's exactly in like the, the song 80s. Alice, Alice, who the everybody sings that line. Got it, got it. Stupid. But do you think it was but meant as that then? Also? I don't know, but it's For genius, sure. na, because everybody picked it up till today from the eighty, say eighty five yeah. to two thousand twenty three. Wow. I remember that. How many do you remember? It's fantastic. I, I remember two specifically. One was. Only Vimal, Vimal. Only Vimal. It's it's the same line four times. Only Vimal, 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 Vimal. Vimal. Yeah, yeah, that was the eighty seven World Cup. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. and that continued. I Richards, mean, like, Alan Border, Kapil Dev, all of them and endorsed. And that, oh, in wow. the nineties also. Who called me? See, I am a knowledge uh, factory. <laughs> you guys don't know anything, yeah. Thank God for me. The other was uh, sari me sari, parag sari. Ah, parag. Oh, and what? Oh, what a concept. Yeah, they're always searching. Sari me sari. What does that mean? I, I doesn't it, mean it's, anything. It's like, it actually means that uh, the sari among saris, but it literally translates a little wrong. In the sari is a sari. Right. Like it comes to the same thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. But but the funny part is that most of the sari stories are the same. Which is the man is chasing the girl. He's searching for her. She's lost. Mm, yeah. Mm. I mean, I just don't understand. If you're wearing a sari, you'll stand out here yeah, most of the time. Yeah. Right? It should yeah. be that tough. Right. And why is she in a desert? And why is he walking across exactly. a desert? Exactly. So and he's on a mountainside. She's in a sari on a mountainside. She's in a sari in a desert. She's yeah. in a sari submerged in water. <laughs> She's yeah. a fucking sari. Yeah. Take the sari. Off. Look where you are. Look at the conditions. <laughs> and the man is chasing her. Yeah. And what kind of name is Parag? <laughs> Parag is one of the boys I grew up with. I don't think of saris and Parag. Is sari me sari, yeah. Parag sari. Yeah, that's Parag in the sari because he's a naughty boy. Is a different. But story. I do remember yeah. it. Oh. I do remember. Yeah, that's that. true. So I guess it works. Then. Yeah. And also, uh, ye to bada toying hai. Hmm. That the the chimpanzee ads. There was this whole thing about chimpanzees wearing underwear. Do you remember monkeys dancing wearing underwear? This was, was made very... by chimpanzees, so <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> communication was a little off. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, there are many. Was it a Center Fresh ad? Center no, it was a Rupa. But speaking of underwear, I underwear Rupa ad, I think. I love the the underwear ads because of the language in the eighties and nineties, which was prevalent for taking it seriously as a product, like VIP underwear, soft, durable, elastic. You know, like these qualities yeah. are like greatness. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a human being at its zenith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> soft, durable. I mean, guys, pay you pay the guy money to write the copy. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a freaking ugly <laughs> underwear. You, know, you hold it up; it's an old white underwear which your father's. War. It's just ridiculous, you know. Yeah. But these days in a room, you know how you write your Amazon script. It was like that. That's the part of advertising which is too much, you know. Right. Because they're all brainstorming. You're sitting around a table and all that, and something you're selling something which is so innocuous right. yeah. and stupid. You, <laughs> which is which is exactly what this chapter is doing. Okay. Yeah. It says advertisements draw our attention to various products and describe them positively so that we become interested in buying them. So they have given two ads. Okay, Cyrus. Honey. One is a uh, top taste dal. Yep, and the copy says when guests come home, give them the best. Yeah, right. And then there is well, show your child. Uh, since the elections are going to start as we record this, yeah. uh, it would be the Janta Dal. <laughs> yeah, Janta Dal. Yeah, Janta <laughs> Dal. Yes, yes. yes. I like that. I like that. Sorry, too much. Huh? <laughs> and the second one is uh, express your love afresh. Show your child you care. What is this ad like without looking? Could be at breastfeeding. It. No, it's soap. Soap. Yeah, yeah. There is a tiny little thing here, yeah, which is a yeah. soap. I didn't realize that when I saw it. So uh, Piyush Pandey not involved. I can tell you right yeah. now. Yeah. But this yeah. one's yeah. insidious. Show your child you care. You are mm. equating the love a mother has for a kid with a product. So if you are brainwashed, you will get the soap. Look at my thinking. I went to breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I was no, going I'm to like. That was the wrong answer. <laughs> I was going to UNICEF or something. Yeah. I mean, you it think does bre- seem oh, like a. See, That was a good thought. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought UNICEF, right? Mm. I mean, I didn't think soap mm. after I saw mm. this, but they are do, they are connecting it. And to be fair, even now, uh, a lot of soaps do this. Yeah, but this is... this ad played out fully, which they didn't allow. The censors didn't allow. Where basically, he says, "Show your child you care," and the pants to the child, and the child says, "Mera baap kona hai," and she says. <laughs> You know because yeah. that's yeah 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 and यहाँ पे यहाँ पे actually दिया भी है कि do you think there is a problem in using the image of a mother as the only person who takes care of the child in the care soap advertisement so you're kind of preempted that um yeah I don't I don't mind that because I think why deny the fact that is a who's gonna when you're young who wants at least for males the male child right the male kid doesn't like to have baths normally. 
Uh, and you speak for yourself i i mean well, let, just <laughs> the more conventional male child doesn't like to have bots okay and so it makes sense that the mother says have you what my mother still asks me i'm 51 yeah she screams have you what still yeah and i still it's been what so seven, have you seven, seven, today? seven years today have you no no no, 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 no. <laughs> which ad do you have to be shown to bad i know i decided when the metro is complete in mumbai i'll have my bot that's good so i've been waiting and <laughs> we're waiting <laughs> um what do you think about the new gavaskar and sehwag pan masala ads i i i love gavaskar so i never say anything bad about him and he's a little naughty and even the stupid stupid mm. uh, stupid dialogues but i think shevag after some time you know i i just a bombay delhi thing but he's overacting <laughs> you know at the end of it he starts doing the balle balle and all that <laughs> i mean the, i don't know it's the difference between sunil gavaskar and virinder shevag when the ball is moving and mm. the seam attack is really good and you'll see the difference in classic batsmanship unfortunately you'll never get to see it yeah but you you talk see about see I turn this into criticism of well the batting skills of, <laughs> also no <laughs> the mumbai delhi fight happened right there <laughs> but you also like spoke about the quality of that which is always like what what is that even but like no, but the it's ethics so cliche you know talking about mera zamana tera zamana i mean really at 2023 you think it's infantile for me a little bit mm. don't you think i'm no I'm, no work has been done i'm thinking more on the lines of you whether you got gavaskar shiva right yeah you want to represent two generations give me something interesting which i do shares would have come out with something really good but they're selling pan masala that's not the point you sell whatever you want to sell that was my point which i was coming to but parag sari is called parag sari you know but the woman's walking the desert this from saying you know but should should it be like an ethical question like when when you are doing ads say for example no, you a get a pan masala there's no ethics for me here this okay. is a creative question we're judging as a creative content okay. uh-huh. i'm finding the creatively uh, for me legends being used etc etc a very cliche way yeah. and, and then this almost 80s hindi film feel to it mm. the kind of dialogue you've given both of them and this guy doing balle balle at the end i mean really <laughs> and you have spent hello crores on it crores like hundreds of people have worked yeah, on it yeah. for like months there is a there's a choreographer who taught him how to do it you know and it's not that great <laughs> at the end of it you know i mean really Yeah. So do you think do you think you have my, ever been interested in the product? I, I can tell you right now. I don't but Shiva but Sunny doesn't doesn't actually use that product. Of course. Never once. I have seen with that. See that's that's masala. my question also, oh, right? Like oh. you know, if you are not yourself say consuming the product, yeah. uh is it okay to advertise it and sell it to other of, people? Speaking as a sure. prostitute myself, I did Chandrika soap, which is a middle class woman soap. Hmm. They came to me saying we've got this idea only sri devi and hima malini and those types had wow. endorsed it okay from there they went to an mtv mail okay right, because right. they had this idea that we're going to do something come out of the box some okay. guy came from okay. yale uh-huh. i think it was still an interesting experiment yeah. but it was ridiculous right. because their market is hardcore middle class south indian female yeah mm. okay and then you suddenly got and back in the <laughs> 90s you know they just weren't our market yeah you know and then you got me prancing around uh, having a bath <laughs> it's not even sexual or sexy or john abraham they made you take a bath With the the you have to have yeah. it's a yeah. soap you can't not have a bath yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a little law no your mother yeah. produced that ad actually just to get you <laughs> my mother's <laughs> name is chandrika <laughs> <laughs> but actually yeah no <laughs> he changed it but but like i mean these are legends as you say no but i'm saying sometimes they do they go off script purposely because they're trying to reverse psychology or you know you go you go off the beaten path completely go from left field find out something so just shock people mm. so i think that was the main thing oh god why is this guy you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. why is this guy so now you're saying why is sunny who's known to be a really classy guy and represents a classic batsmanship why is he with a pan masala yeah. but then wasn't pierce brosnan james bond with a pra- pan masala also and that and zidane who doesn't even know how to pronounce masala or pan yeah uh, mm-hmm. also that but yeah. that's my that's my question right like you know ek to it's a harmful product 80% of uh, oral cancer cases are connected to pan masala and you have like sehwag and um, you know sunny boy sunny, you, you yeah. forgot sunny's name uh, sorry. i'm not i'll walk out huh? gavaskar gavaskar and no, sehwag and your maharashtra on top of that get out <laughs> <laughs> you leave the room now there's a limit rishi kya kar do <laughs> Gavaskar and Sehwag endorsing this very uh-huh. harmful product. Uh-huh. So, do you think a it's effective that you know more people will start buying okay, pan masala because going by Meghna's law, we are talking about it, right? Yeah. I are you cricket buff? No. So you still know the ad which is basically running on the IPL channels, right? Okay, he and me. Okay, we are forced to be watching the game, uh-huh. but you're you're it's hit your head, right? Because people were criticizing it. 
ha so then it's made some point the thing is you don't want to die hmm. if you die that's the, the ads just die hmm. like the most of the ads i've done yeah. nobody remembers them but th- these ads have made some kind of statement we have a conversation on a award winning podcast watched by 355 million people across the world of course in 197 course. countries seema ji so hmm. achievement unlocked we know. were talking there about you know. it anyway shivag is calling right now saying how dare you <laughs> <laughs> my dancing is very good <laughs> there was this uh, perfume ad also na which was very creepy which was which got into trouble recently uh i won't name the perfume brand uh, so they can name like, and shame them we, uh, don't name them how will we know uh because i forgot the name oh, uh, that's, 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 like, that's, that's yeah. that's that makes sense that's you should try uh, 30 plus that's also good ad yeah. so uh, the, the, uh. they were like uh, bordering sexual harassment they were showing in the ad yeah. and they got called oh, out for oh right 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 it's a foreign ad नहीं अभी यहाँ का इंडियन एड है इंडियन एड है सो दे गॉट कॉल्ड आउट फॉर इट बट वुड यू अप्लाई द सेम लॉजिक देयर आल्सो कि ओ यू टॉक्ड अबाउट इट सो दैट वाज इफेक्टिव नो नो यू टॉक अबाउट सेलिंग द प्रोडक्ट सो देन दैट्स नॉट माय बिजनेस राइट because they've got a committee that's supposed to decide whether you can that product can be sold or not this is something with alcohol and uh, cigarettes i have mm. no problem once you say you're selling it i think you should endorse it mm. okay if you're selling it don't tell me uh, you're putting on the packet key you'll get cancer and uh, whatever injuries to health it's all hypocrisy right yeah, yeah, the yeah. product is out there you're making money you're charging tax you're enjoying all the benefits and then you're saying no no we can't have them as sponsors and yeah, all. Yeah. bullshit bro mm. you're selling it that means you uh, it's above board mm. is the same uh, same thing as uh, i think nirmala ji did not want to mention when we had this uh, Uh, entire crypto issue she didn't want to say whether it's legal currency mm-hmm. or not right want right. to keep it on the gray fence. area yeah. why gray area either it's there or it's not there Correct. why should there be a gray area yeah right. either you say no to cigarettes no to alcohol no to pan masala or once you do they're the same as a cold drink or anything else yeah. or chips or any innocuous product don't you think yeah i i agree i mean i it's i have no problem me as a consumer i don't understand then bro what are you what are you telling us and you know interestingly Cigarette cyrus there is there is this... injurious to health <laughs> but we spend 500 crores going to bloody <laughs> switzerland alps and you know having these three actors go down the i mean come on And also there is this uh, board that they have shown right you know there's like oh they spent thousands of crore on advertisements and there are like posters everywhere signature is here right yeah now, the, now the surrogate the, signature surrogate signature oh. right so there is another thing so like of course like tum log ek to alcohol bech nahi sakte so now they come up with these random products like cds and whatever whatever and yeah. then they still sell it anyway because uh, i'm thinking the person buying it Uh, totally understands what you're doing. Hmm. You're not selling it to some real idiot yeah. who has no idea what's going on. No, I am buying it just for the music. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. signature <laughs> CDs. They are what I listen to. Bacardi Blast. It. Oh, Bacardi Blast. McDouble Soda. Have you had it? Incredible. <laughs> Highly recommended. You get one with ten CDs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a very fun fact in this book which I will read. Uh, branding actually comes from cattle grazing. Cattle of yeah, different owners. Yeah, you brand the cattle so you can uh, ra- wrestle. What's it? Wrestle the cattle. Wrestle right? the cattle. Isn't that the right word? Uh, Rustlers. Rustlers. Ruff- they, they, they would, when you steal the cattle, it's called rustling, right? I didn't. I never stolen cattle, Google, so I don't Google. know. I don't know. You haven't in India. <laughs> the price of one cow is worth thirteen of your. He's selling cows now. He's advertising cows now. <laughs> you cannot sell the cow, but you can pat a cow. What hmm. would be a good ad for a cow? Or we are already seeing it. Uh, I have this lovely ad I wrote about uh, classical musician Tchaikovsky, uh, who is difficult to pronounce. It's just touch a cow. <laughs> touch a cow. Touch a cow. Tchaikovsky. Touch a cow. Okay, let me complete this. Huh. Cattle of different owners grazed together in ranches, and they often got mixed up. The owners thought of a solution. They started marking their cattle with the owner's sign by using heated iron. Uh, this it's was called very, branding. In the old days, very painful because I'm a cowboy lover and used to read westerns. The branding, the animal is burnt literally. Yeah. You take the yeah. In, the animal just burnt. Yeah. You it's it's horrible and it takes you can't the letter formation because they normally have letters mm-hmm. of the of the mm-hmm. outfit. Let's say uh, Shreyas is the thing, so S is mm-hmm. the brand. So S takes a long time to make mm-hmm. and then right. they do it properly and all that. Animal just burnt. Kind yeah. Of. Like I mean, you sear it on yeah, their yeah, skin literally, essentially, literally. right? It's yeah. Like, I don't use word tandoor. Yeah. There's no masala involved, but yeah. But yeah, and and no, the we the, should do that in our IVM podcast also. What a brand the horse <laughs> on his forehead. Uh, Rishi, just point to note. Yeah, I, IVM. Yeah. Like the the interesting thing that I find in this chapter though is that uh, so seventh graders ko bata rahe ki branding kya hai, but the way they do it is very very nice. Which hmm. is, pehle they introduce this top taste dal. Yeah. Right, and then later they said ki oh, but what if someone else starts a top taste brand? So what will you do? So then branding. So there is now a best taste dal also. Yeah. Which they are selling differently. So first top taste dal is sell sold. Uh, 
uh, as mm. give your guest the best, mm. right? Now this uh, best taste dal is given as give your children great food value. Wow! So the the whole point that they're making is that loose dal that you get in the market uh, is the same dal. You just put it in a packet. You advertise it, so then you can increase the cost, and then advertising is doing exactly that: branding and advertising. Uh, the task of creating a brand does not stop at giving the product a special name. For example, just when top taste dal begins to be sold, another company decides to also sell dals in the packet and calls this best taste dal. So now there are two branded dals in the market. Both the companies are keen that you buy their dal. Do you buy, buy uh, branded dal? Do I look like I buy anything? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know which dal comes I, in your house? I, no, I come from a very simple uh, mm. background. <laughs> my dad was no more, uh, which is you always look at the right side of the menu. So you always look at that. I don't care what the dal is. I don't care what the book is. What I, what is the cheapest thing? That's what I buy. How do you think I got married? Rather, how did she get married? <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. Fair cheapest enough. guy in the shadi dot com website. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> what are your attributes? I'm cheap. Uh, what do you want? Nothing. What are your skills? Nothing. You know, that's the way to do it. When was the last time you went so to a I'm supermarket? I'm the wrong guy to call for consumerism. Huh? I'm really not into that. So uh, you're not. Thing. Yeah, because there are other people doing consumerism for you, and you don't have to go no, to I don't buy care. the products. That's uh, all. I get so irritated. My aunt used to get me shirts and underwear and all that. Pretty, be gracious on her birthday. And she because you know and I'm, give her and say I'm in, no, no and say <laughs> no say I'm interested you have to be spontaneous you know how people are happy with presents right but well, I I want a Milan Supari they wouldn't <laughs> buy me that you know, I'm I'm trying to tell them I'm so cheap you get me masala chips Milan Supari I don't I, that's all I need you waste your time with fucking shirts and pants yeah. and all that I hate all that you know? oh. even now Kunal went and got a pair of shoes because they want to outlaw my shoes saying it's too old but this is Manik Kunwala shoes it's a gift eight years ago already old <laughs> yeah. yeah so I mean I want this for life. I mean, they know I don't like new things, so I'm I'm not good for con- consumerism. When was the thing. last time you went to a supermarket? I go where, where, when we go abroad. They took me to IKEA in Thailand hmm. once. Hmm. You know, I cried, Minga. What? I actually cried <laughs> because uh, they told me 20 minutes, and on the 21st <laughs> minute we were still there. Okay, then two hours later I was outside. I I I I, I, I was I took the heat of Thailand I, in Bangkok. I was like, let me die here. <laughs> I can't sit in that sh- fucking IKEA store and look at things. <laughs> I I thought that he went in the store and he was like, oh my god, this is so great. So he started crying. Are you but nuts? But he has no, no patience I for no patience. culture, no, shopping. No, not no. that I guess culture, I'm, I'm but a going anywhere. I'm a <laughs> yeah. You know me better. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I can't, and I can't lie anymore as I age. You know, I can't pretend to like things. I, I I've become almost like I'm ready for the bhajan dal. <laughs> I I feel I need to make a call. Yeah. Because I'm very clear. Like, don't like. That's but you're telling me when you enter a supermarket, there's no ad, there's no line no. that can get so, you to turn and be so, interested. So, but I have a specific thing. Like, I go to buy my supplements, but I know what I, I don't take long. So, I know I want a pre-workout, I, I want my protein powder, and what is the cheapest? And I... I uh, supplements. Guy, yeah, yes. So, yeah, so there's a guy called Sachin who I go to and I say, Sach. And he says, Bolo, yeah, 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 tere ko malo mein, tere ko sasta chahi. Ha, ha, ha. So what will you get? And that's it. Ah. And this is less than that, that's less I don't care. Poison is less than that, okay. What will you get less than And we go for that. It's like a drug dealer. A very much drug dealer. Yeah. I, in fact, Sachin is a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly uh, what uh, it sounds after like. After seven, he stands outside the shop with a different <laughs> set of supplements. Yeah. This is where we have to take a break. After the break, we'll Maybe come back. And we will... Uh, <laughs> and then we will talk about uh, how how this uh, you know chapter just escalates very quickly. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasts Network. On the Habit Coach Podcast, Ashton answers a listener's question on how one can make time to exercise in their busy working day. On All Things Policy, Malati Renati, Sachin Kalbag and Sambhya Nandan talk about the role played by society, government and markets in elderly care. And on Explain Like I'm 10, Meghnath is joined by author A.K. Bhattacharya and stand-up comedian Puneet Panya. They try to answer the question, what is socialism? Once again, don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcast.com. We have some exciting stuff for you. Follow us on social media via IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you like our shows, spread the word, tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. You'll also find all our shows on youtube.com slash IVM Podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week, Cash Free Payments and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. Hello and welcome to How to Citizen. We are here with Cyrus Brocha, who we did not introduce since the beginning. This is Cyrus Brocha. Uh, in my introduction, I, I, you didn't let me introduce the guest. I, I'm trying to stop the formal introductions that we do on uh, podcasts. Ah, yeah. I just think that after some time, it starts behaving like that loud TV anchor. <laughs> Not the guy with the glasses. 
the ones before yeah yeah because you don't like introductions no no i don't mind but i'm saying the audience is not really like you know they're not in a stage show so that i realize while watching it that it looks a little too hyped up and then what's the product you know it ah. doesn't match like like he comes back and says wow welcome to the show and then it's me <laughs> you know i mean all that hype and you know <laughs> I this is a, the sponsor pulling out saying no cancel the show immediately <laughs> we got you for a deleted chapter on you a bonus me, episode you got me because shekhar suman refused to come <laughs> right we should have asked shekhar suman yeah. what were we doing he's a very what intelligent is this? man you, yeah, you would have yeah, got yeah, much better copy yeah, from yeah, him yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, they know we when to be serious and when not to be also there's certain <laughs> reasons you need for that you can't just have add and then just go from one to the other like that because that's just creative masturbating which is not you know beneficial Gla- glad you glad you pointed that yeah, out to me i'm always there to help myself i understand that Do cricketer ads influence you when you watch cricketer ads? When I was young, I was a, it's a yeah. different thing, right? You know, growing up, so all those boost up, is the secret of mine. Those right? are later, but I'm saying I grew up with you know, Sandeep Patel and all these guys mm. sharing what, that what thumbs, up. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, Kapil uh, Dev uh, was happy a... days are here again. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Kapil Dev, Sunny, Sandy, wow. all of them. Even Vengsakar was in one. They all Ravi Shastri. Oh wow! Yeah. And that affected you. So I like thumbs up <laughs> because I like my cricketers. And since Inter- then you've been having thumbs up now. No, no, no. I've got diabetes, so I can't. Have ah, it. now you can't have yeah. it. But, in, but in, you, in fact, none of the fingers. Yeah. <laughs> but the ads did work on you. I would, I would think. But the the thing is, there the legend has sold you, mm. right? right? Because you're a fan. Yeah, yeah. So and you follow like everybody has been a growing up idols. Like yours was Shea Guevara, and you know, uh, ours was yours okay. was Bill Burr, Correct. and mine was okay. Sunny. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. So if Shea Guevara came and said, "Hello, uh, buy my toothpaste," uh-huh. and then get shot, by, <laughs> uh, buy it quickly. You know, yeah. Buy it quickly. Yeah. Now, the yeah. point has been made, right? Yeah. And in yeah. Spanish, you know, which yeah. I can't do <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah. But then that op- also applies to pan masala, right? Yeah. Well, uh, if, if you know, if they pay uh, you money, you endorse it. Tell the government to take it off the shelf, right? Yeah. Well, I don't want to blame anybody for that except the government. Why should why should it be anybody else's blame? I, I I it's too much to digest. Why is it there? Yeah yeah. Like like prostitution is it legal or not legal? If it's legal, it should be advertised. Yeah. If it's not legal, then just take it off. Can yeah. I, you can't have it. This this nonsense about grey areas in uh, capitalist markets across the world where you mm. have certain products which are not good, wink wink. Yeah. But yeah, we yeah. make so much money, so stay stay. Mm-hmm. Right. What the hell? And you can't associate with it. And all these fucking. Yeah. I can't bear these celebrities who say things like, "I won't uh, endorse alcohol. I won't endorse cold drinks. I won't endorse chips because it's a bad." What are you talking about? You're living in this real world. What message are you giving me? Just just do more work for humanity instead, and just endorse the freaking chips. Right. What's the big deal? Right. No, people will get fat because I'm saying eat chips. <laughs> no, nobody's saying that. Is there? Eat it if you want it. Don't eat it if you don't want it. Yeah. Nobody's saying you'll get fat. Just eat chips. Don't eat anything else. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so I think there's too much holier than thou shit going on. Don't you think when celebrities I won't do, I won't do. If it's legal. We sell it. If yeah. it's not legal, we don't sell it. Correct. Example. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Proper, proper capitalist market, free market. Absolutely, views. disparity yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. We can't have everybody looking the same. We can't have. Some it. countries have tried it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here it says advertisements often show us images of the lifestyles of rich people and seldom show us the realities of people's lives That's not true. that That's we not see true. around us. We have we have such a ride the. Advertising completely. We have shown the garibus guy, the lower middle class guy getting his first bike. We've done mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. That's not true. In our country, we have gone up and down the ladder. Yeah, uh, it depends on the product because basically we've got it right in terms of who we are talking to. Mm. So if we're trying to sell an Audi, there's no point showing a guy who's just urinating behind a tree deep in a you know uh, heartland of India because mm-hmm. the chances are he already has an Audi. <laughs> 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 but but uh, like even modern day influencing ads like the Instagram पे जो ads दिखते हैं तो they are also like showing like a different sort of high lifestyle I would say no so the, the, then you're leading the leading question here and the leading question is are you trying to sell me that you should have this lifestyle is that your question uh, I mean you're associating a product with that lifestyle also so so we're endorsing a lifestyle more than the product is what you're saying right is is what they're so saying so now yeah. this is a very leftist so this is your cousin going this way <laughs> this is the no, chapter saying this one on one yeah this is there's no. a reason why they deleted this Cyrus <laughs> no, because no. of this shit but we can't <laughs> disapprove about their lifestyle because they're rich and i'm not trying to support rich people either super mm. rich or whatever i'm just mm. saying that we have to stop being complex about everything yeah. because you're selling products and at the end of the day there will be different lifestyles which are portrayed what no, is no, absolutely the, absolutely let's yeah. not go, go overboard here it's scary yeah. other cpi would have had more votes uh, yeah I, I, mr yachuri if you're there i'm a fan no <laughs> this chapter does uh, like escalate very quickly because uh, they turn the advertisement so first they are like oh ye advertisement hai ye branding hai we'll show you how that works then they suddenly start going into this area where a first they are trying to tell you how ads get made 
Okay, so I'm going to describe the scene. You tell me if this works, right? Uh, mm. You worked in a ad agency, right? So they have this uh, uh, comic strip huh. called the Loving Soap. Right. Right. Where that uh, sounds very sexual. Huh? <laughs> no, like you're in prison. You know, all boys. Somebody <laughs> says, "Sabun gir gaya." It's called the Loving Soap. Pesh karte hai. Bikram becomes Vital. Two in one. Uh, but horrible, that is precisely what happens. And I have made a horrible tele series here. <laughs> Season two is on the way. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's precisely what happens because uh, soap company goes to ad agency. Yeah. Ad agency is like first we'll do survey yeah. and we'll f- figure out your target audience, mm. right? And then they're like, okay, okay, let's let's do that. And then they spend a lot of money doing the survey. Mm. Then uh, <laughs> then they have like these creative guys sitting around coming up with lines, right? Mm. All the existing brands of baby soap in the market emphasize naturalness, etc. We need a different angle. How about associating our soap with the loving care of a mother? Uh, we should say that you cannot fully express your love for your child without your soap, right? Then they present it to the client, and then they basically sell it uh, to mothers, uh, who who basically then they have to. But you know, I have a problem. Yeah. Who's going to buy the soap? The kid can't buy the soap. He's six months old. <laughs> the mother is going to buy it yeah. for the kid. Yeah, but the mother is the one you have to talk to. The kid is of no consequence. But that's that's precisely it, right? Like they're targeting the mothers. Yeah. So, so that's how the creative agency works, is what they're saying. Are you saying babies should be given more money? Is that your point? <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying as of now, even in woke culture, babies' rights are not that crazy <laughs> that they will decide the soap when they can only say oh, I can't, can't go, papa. because that's not enough communicating skills to decide whether you want Lirin or Liril or whatever the names are. Yeah, that's all. You know, so actually, you have to target the mother. There's no one to target, and the father, being a father myself, eight times, twice legally, I have to tell you honestly. <laughs> That you don't want to have this a conversation about which soap to buy, ever in your life. It's amongst the most dry conversations ever. Now, just think of you're stuck there and your wife is asking which soap should we go for 15 minutes discussion. You, uh, did that people, ever happen with you? Like where? No. Luckily, my wife is also not very into consumer, but we have Kunal as the third wheel. Now he likes. Uh-huh. He's the aesthete. Now he likes to look at things and uh-huh. colors and backgrounds. This is the best one. Look at it, ingredients, yeah, 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 yeah. all of that. Let's say he's straight, but nobody knows why. Yeah. It's <laughs> like that. So yeah, so you, you you whatever it's your thing. So you don't pick the soap; someone else does for well, you. It looks like a you soap. <laughs> That's a a shower. Person. There's shower. no way he's picking. How soap. do you pick your soap? Um, Two males shouldn't have this conversation. <laughs> it's just wrong in our society. Or shower <laughs> gel slash shower this is, gel. This is how China will take over India because urban men are like this. This is the conversation you're having. Yeah. Which soap do you like and why? <laughs> and then you know how are you going to fight? What's uh, your favorite uh, gun? Uh, where's the warrior in you? What's your favorite gun? No, that's your gun, favorite weapon. That, that's sounding wrong. <laughs> <laughs> After the soap conversation, he goes to okay, gun. Okay. What's your favorite wrong. knife? Okay, that also sounds it's wrong. It's a knife. Actually, Speak <laughs> English. There's a K there. <laughs> you think they put it for good luck? It was done by Yash Chopra. Uh, good knife. K. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the good N- luck. Yeah, Br- the bridge came in NIFE and then one, one of our filmmakers, you know, said, "Ah, I don't like it. We didn't uh, sell the picture." <laughs> Chalo, kanai bolo, and kanai became a thing. Yeah. But how do you pick your soap? <laughs> um, uh, do you pick your soap? Be honest. You, you live alone yeah. here. You're a multi-millionaire in Nagpur, but you live alone here, so you do have to, I guess, shop. I'll I'll be honest. I spend twenty seconds. I go to the store. I ask him which one, which one are the people loving, which one are which one is getting the most. And then I ask the shopkeeper, and then he gives me one, and I trust him. And then, it, then does he give you a bath also? Yes, yeah. I do. Yes, they they come back later, and then yeah. they do that. Do also. you not try many soaps and then stick to one for a while? No. No, no. It's just every time it's it's a different. It's one. it's a non-starter for you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when when you go it's to a non-exclusive a, relationship with so soaps, is it's, there any product that both of you basically go and actually are discerning consumers where you are actually thinking, oh, this product, deciding is hai feature. eggs. I can't decide which one to get. I'm right, eggs on Zepto. There are like eight different types of eggs. I don't know which one to get at all. When I was a young man, <laughs> back in the eighties, yes. My on a Saturday morning, my mother would give me a list. And a bag, and I would go to the freaking store. And I have to and money, and I had to buy things, and I didn't know what they were, including sanitary pads, for yeah, example. Yeah. Okay, so I this was the worst experience of my life because in those days your mother would send you, you were like the help. Yeah. And you would have a twelve-year-old boy carrying a bag with all kinds of strange things, you know, woman products, hair products, all this. Whatever had to be bought was bought in a list. Money was given. The shopkeeper knew us vaguely, whatever, and I stood there like a fool, right, with all kinds of products. And after that, I don't want to ever go into a shop. It's just been such a Horrible experience for me. I can't tell you. When you buy a phone, do you look at the features? I've never bought a phone. 
You know, it's so interesting that you were talking about how you hated going to the store as a kid because I remember there are so many ads also about the same experience yeah. where a kid is going yeah. with a list and yeah. then things happen. Because so. shares the practicality of carrying a heavy bag when you come back and walking a distance. It's not fun and it's a long process. It takes about twenty minutes, half an hour to get everything. No, you're standing there. They come and they put things in. They just ignore you. You stand there like a statue, yeah. and the guy just takes the list because it's an every Saturday thing, and then we just put things in the bag. What I'm interested in the same dirty in... orange bag I would carry back. I hate that orange bag. What I'm interested in is did your mom make Mentioned the brand name on the list also. See, it, back in the eighties, I don't think there was so much competition amongst brands. It was just soap. You more or less monopolized. Yeah, there was. Yeah. It was They're called like soap. soap. <laughs> Spelled S O P. Now <laughs> soaps are totally different. Yeah. So, like I do remember there was a monkey brand toothpaste. I don't know if you guys ever know about this. It's a monkey powder, brand. powder toothpaste. Monkey. It's called monkey brand. Okay. And you think why would it be called monkey brand? It sold really well. Uh. I loved it because it was powder. It's just like a kid. It's fun to play with powder, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And because you hate brushing your teeth, you know, I yeah, still don't brush yeah, right. my teeth. You guys yeah. know that. Uh, but the moment I had that monkey brand, I changed my life. So there are some brands which make sense because you know they sort of engage you. Correct. But not from a point of view of the aesthetics and all that. Right. I just like it because I was a clumsy kid and I like the powder. And maybe I thought I'd become a drug addict one day, and you know, you associate with putting things like that in your mouth or face area. <laughs> you're preparing yourself. What you guys do, you comedians, when you don't have work, you know that kind of thing. No, I want to figure out. Check what out Monkey Brand if you can. I don't know if it's there, but it's fantastic. I want to figure out what brand Cyrus cares about. And clearly, abhi tak, uh, I mean. I mean, he doesn't Thumbs care up. about. Okay. Maynard, you got to talk to Kunal or Aisha or some of my friends who grew up with me, and they'll tell you better. I'll figure I, it I'm out. I'm the real deal. I'm not a fraud here telling you that I don't. I have no interest in clothes. I just everything is free. My shoes are free. Socks have come from a show I did with Ryal. Pants Kunal gave me because he goes to Benetton. Phone friend. shirt is given to me by IVM. Okay. Phone is bought by Maya. Okay, okay, for my birthday yeah. with 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 Costob's money. Okay, okay. Um, before that, I had all Kunal's old phones and my father's old phone. Those are the three phones I had before that. So, so you I don't have, look at the I'm features a, or anything. I have to buy things for my kids, so I do have to pay bills because they like things and my whatever. But personally, I just have no, no car. Interest. No real interest, but I have to buy it. I'll buy it. You but know, you looked at the features and you picked no, I look at what is cheaper. Oh, I always look at what is cheaper. Okay. For me, if they tell me three tires only, but five lakhs off, I'll say I'll manage. <laughs> how is this that you've gone through? You just all drive this? like that with one tire. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about the car. Oh. But how is it that you've, you've gone through so many years of your life without ah, having any? My affiliate? glasses, Rishi's pointing out. These are free, crowd-funded on our shows. Uh, that yeah. I know. Yeah. That I know. That from I know. the stand-up yeah. show. Haircut. The hijam came from the from the road. Literally, you found one guy in the pandemic. <laughs> I continue working with him. Are you saying that? Except now his cousin has come, whose breath stinks. <laughs> But the, it's a low rate, so but you know. So does yours, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I don't care about him. <laughs> he has to care about me. I'm the client. Client, consumer is king, brother. Consumer is king. You forget your advertising. So you want the cheapest product. I'm sure your kids don't want that, right? No, they care about brands. I've tried to push them. No, yeah, a little bit. My daughter, a little bit for sure. Hmm. But then the Kunal influence is strong, na? Ah. Hmm. Kunal is the kind of guy who comes in and says, adjusting your tie again. Straight guy who does that, oh. and he says, you know, this is not right, and you know. <laughs> What is right? Whichever had a double knot, I put it on because I don't want to, you know, that's the one available. I, we got the one man who doesn't care about <laughs> brands to do an episode got, on understanding I, I advertising. I tried to that. You got uh, the antithesis of branding. <laughs> yeah. I have no interest in me. And I've reached a point where I'm like uh, <laughs> arrogant about it and I've glamorized it and I enjoy the fact that I, because I can see when people go to shops and how happy they get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, just to be the antithesis yeah, of that makes like, me I'm so happy. above all this. The contrarian yeah. thing, yeah. yeah. So you are unaffected. Not above. I just, I, I just want to tell them how stupid it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you are unaffected by advertising. No. I did like the thumbs up ad because I like those cricketers. Mm. I did ah. like Monkey Brand because I just want to play around with that product. I was young, mm -hmm. but as an uh, as a juvenile, as a slightly less juvenile adult, it's uh, not such a big deal for so me. So once you cross the age of fifteen, no ad. No, has I know. Ever See, if Pamela Anderson, you. my hero, uh, is advertising something, even if it's bras, I might buy it. Okay. And rightly okay. so. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair but enough. but you're right. I, I it just you know you wasted on me more or less. But I do understand that if I see Kurbani written as I was growing up, or if I ah. see Namak Halal written, you know that it'll stay in my head whether I like it or not. You're a simple person. Why you do see we see the things? No, I'll never buy Parag Sari, yeah. but I'm pushing the brand. Mm. We had this conversation. We both know so much about it. Correct. Neither him or me are going to buy it. Correct. So I still think that's success yeah. because it'll translate into somebody else buying it through me. Right. 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 So there's an indirect sale happening. Mm. Yeah. So they have succeeded. Mm. Direct sale is not uh, everything because direct sale is ridiculous. Mm. Correct. Unless it's a cold drink or chips or one of those gum or toffee or whatever. Mm. Those products, the direct sale happens all the time. But come on, you're buying something which is slightly larger. Mm. The indirect sale is everything. So we're doing it. We pushed it. Mm -hmm. What about BJ, Babu Bhai, Jagjeevan Das? They don't exist anymore. Textile uh, is I gone. have never heard of them. So I mean, but did, you, did, you, did you grow up in Bombay? It's no, Bombay I didn't. Phenomenon. No, yeah. I, Nagpur. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was there in Nagpur, but uh, it was big because of the name. Interesting. Yeah. But, I, but it was literally an inside joke everywhere. Yeah, of course. 
for urban Indians uh, in Mumbai, yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. a big deal, na. Imagine uh, we have a generation where nobody said bad words in public right, at all, right, right. and then you come and you're sitting there and you go, and the bad DJs playing bad electronic their yeah. version of the 80s. Yeah. BJ, <laughs> Babu, Bai, Jagjeev, and Das. Oh, oh, oh! It's like you know, Bappe Das gone completely berserk. It's a Sunday. He doesn't know what to do. He came up with this lyric, and and it was really bad. There's strobe lights. I don't know if you guys ever seen the strobe yeah, lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might see it in a Mithunda film or something. Yeah, right. And it's literally a blue and yellow. <laughs> Red lights, you know, they're actually ugly lights going over each other, and so that's happening. And this and this model is singing, and and she's not singing. Somebody's singing for her, and and this li- the lyrics are literally B J four times B J B, and then ba, and then everybody loves the fact that it's not like low job, but it's Babu like- by Jagjeevan Das. So when it's like exactly like who the fuck is Alice? Yeah. At that point, everybody, the whole audience would sing it. Right. So it'd be like B J B J, and then there would be elevation in the voice, you know, as you say the name. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's not the dirty word. Correct. It's Babu Correct. by Jagjeevan Das. <laughs> for God's sake, super hit, <laughs> super hit. I like how, how it's so engaging. How engaging. can it not be? You'll never forget this story yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be telling your grandkids. I know. I, I know. won't. Yeah. I won't. I won't. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Now we have like last five minutes. I want to trigger you a little bit okay. because oh. the chapter that escalates, uh, which, which it escalates. So all this while they are like, oh, yeah, add होता है, yeah, ऐसा बनाता है, whatever, whatever. Now they villainize it, which you hate. So I want to read this. Um, advertisers make us believe that things are packaged and have a brand name are far better than things that do not come in packets. We forget that the quality of a product has little to do with the packaging that it comes in. The shift to packaged products negatively affects the sales of several small businesses, forcing people out of their livelihoods. See, there's a hypocrisy in India hmm. from films and everywhere. And the governments, various governments, I won't even blame this one alone, where they talk about, you know, Garibi Hatao and all this and how, you know, we've got to show more respect, etc. But at the end of the day, it's it's the same cycle. No? It doesn't make any difference. You know what what do you mean? There's no real uh, initiative to do anything. It's all mobile calm when it comes to the, trying to, you know. So why are you getting complex about all this at the end of the day? But but they say this advertising uh, because it appeals to personal no, no, you're emotions. You're trying to glamorize and yeah. reverse it because I have nothing and say that you know my product is better. I'm a peasant in a village who has nothing, and but your product is better. Why should we buy this packaged product, etc.? But in truth, uh, nobody is ever going to do anything for that person. Uh, uh, yeah, but then that's the whole thing. So they're selling aspiration, right? To no. the to the person who can't afford no, it, they're, they're like, they're oh, you have to get there where you can actually afford this product. Then, no, their argument is that the rich package thing is killing the 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 old yeah, rustic th- natural th- son of the soil a, flavor. This mm. is a proper left socialist yeah. argument, right? Which which, is, which left or not, I'm saying they don't really. The governments are never going to do anything about it. No, they That's won't. That's why disparity doesn't doesn't change. They won't. So why do we do this whole complex performance? Is what I'm saying. The, That's true. The dance is a waste of time. Hmm. Because this is going to make any difference. They're not going to be complex about it. Oh, how dare you do this? So they sing for votes and all. And then, of course, the disparity will stay exactly the same. And that's the way it is. This is a yeah. sad story. This is why Shreyas is a comedian today. To fight against this. One man's In voice. In my head, it's still the BJ song playing. I have no idea what you guys are on about. That's it's BJ. Huh? There's no third letter. He, he hasn't Watch moved on. Yeah. He hasn't moved on. He's he? just stuck. He? Uh, I'll read this last line, which, which I found very interesting. Advertising by focusing on the lives of the rich and famous helps us forget about issues of poverty, discrimination and dignity, all of which are central to the functioning of equality in a democracy. Okay. Uh, that, so they have basically said that advertising is destroying democracy. In the end, they how, have how can that. you have an egalitarian line to selling products? That's because insane. each each uh, product goes to a different demographic. Yeah, literally, no, democracy is the wrong word. Different class of uh, performer. Yeah, who can afford only whatever he can afford. Hmm. If I'm selling pulses, you know, in a certain way, it's for a certain type of people. Hmm. Right, so I don't understand the egalitarian concept. You can't have a secular advertising society, or a, you know, where all the ads are the same uh, for everyone, by everyone, to everyone. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So also, this, they're wasting their time with this conversation. Like, let's take the example of salt. Yeah. Right, Tata salt. Yeah. Like, there is an iodized salt. Yeah. There is a normal salt. Mm. Mm. And there is. Do you remember those packets with a guy on it? Yeah. Guy chap salt, mm. which yeah. we used to get. Yeah. For years, like and I the remember. And namak is there? Firstly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Use the word namak immediately. Yeah, they deify it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just like namak likha yeah, and yeah. like a guy on it, and that that packet which was like this wet Welch mulch, which yeah. was salt, which mm. was used in households everywhere. Oh, and then later, monkey brand used it as toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. Yeah, 
but uh, so yeah. there were three types of salt available in the market right i personally thought that uh, oh when would when would we actually get that other salt which is the tata salt mm-hmm. or whatever which, which was based on advertising right so that's the aspiration they're talking about right but then that brand died but but there's an order no the difficult the hierarchy is there what can we do in, in sense that a buys this product b buys that product c buys that product so i have to talk only to a i can try and talk to b so i can increase it from a to b yeah. mm-hmm. but by and large uh, uh, fact of the matter is if i'm talking to a then i'm talking to a so yeah. i ignore b so, so i rather keep my team so their whole argument is that small businesses are dying because of advertising would you agree that's not true of course it's difficult to beat the monoliths when mm-hmm. it comes a juggernaut or as we say mm-hmm. you know like coke comes and then buys out three exactly, and all the things exactly. it's a difficult thing to do but i think there are enough examples also of small uh, business like charak din hmm. for example which is a one shop in bombay hmm. they're still there there are lots of huge textiles uh, out there huge names hmm. i don't know names of con- tell me names of shirts paco something and hmm. park avenue park avenue and right. whatever so these are huge huge brands hmm. with lots of shops everywhere hmm. charak din holds its own it's hmm. a one man shop hmm. okay the guy like me doesn't change his shirt mm. ironically even though he <laughs> sells shirts yeah so they manage it's not it's, it's difficult it's but it's not possible. exactly a small business though is it it's a big business but mm. they only work from one shop and the whole idea is by being small they're big mm. if they dare get into franchise they believe they'll die yeah they believe they they'll never their market is the fact that it's difficult to find you come all the way from kenya to buy the shirt mm. you know so it works on that philosophy mm. so it's not that you can't punch above your weight and survive right mm. but obviously you if the, the, the bigger yeah the bigger guy will come and you know it's going to be tough like like coca cola as you mentioned coca cola i i noticed this a long time ago when i was a kid ki why do all the shops have coca cola boards Like you know, like mm. with their name, Nietzsche. They paid. The co- they paid. Yeah. yeah, so they paid. I the used shop. to wear Coca Cola, no Pepsi Cola on my back. They just asked me to, you know, walk around with it because I didn't wear clothes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but literally they could just. They have enough money, so they would just do that, right? So yeah. it's everywhere. They just hit by the branding, and then slowly they buy the smaller guy out. That's his option to sell or fight. So they ended up killing something like a Gold Spot and a Campa Cola and all those things. Uh, they got bought by uh, by Pepsi, right? I I don't know. Or by Coke, exactly. one of the two. Huh, yeah, huh. yeah, they got bought. But the smaller so businesses are no, they exist, there. but under them. So then they decide what to do with them because they do have a market. Mm-hmm. They wanted to, they could have fought. I love Gold Spot. I love Mangola, Duke's product, mm-hmm. and all these. So it's not impossible that just the taste would have survived. Mm-hmm. The market is still there. Yeah, you never know. That's why there's always a chance for you to become prime minister one day, Meghna. Of course. Right now you don't have much of a market. Yeah. There's two of us who'll vote for you. <laughs> that's a, that's. But a... if we play BJ <laughs> and the Padyatra as we walk north, south, east, west of India. And make that no speech. You just come on, ladies and gentlemen. Up, pesh karte hai. Make that. Talia, talia, talia. And then you come and go, ladies and gentlemen. B J. <laughs> we have five shamak dancers behind going. Ha, bye, bye, Jack Jeevan. Das, 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 das. Landslide. Reverb. This have reverb, by the way. Do you know what reverb is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's very really horrible because it's like really old-fashioned. Like one word repeats slowly. <laughs> Re, das, 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 das. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the disco era, bro. Rocking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's a good place to end this yeah. uh, with you announcing you want to be prime minister. Oh, yeah, no, that's with with B J again, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, like no, yeah. like that. I really need to rethink this B J <laughs> Babu Bhai Jag Jivan Das uh, whole Reach scenario. Reach for the stars, Baba. Let yeah. the little guy win sometime. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we told Kajival. But before we end, uh, like uh, Cyrus, since this is the final episode this that se- we are going to release, seven times before we end, it's, it's like my mother-in-law. <laughs> Huh. Tell me. Uh, when I ask you how to citizen, what comes to your mind? Uh, my problems they keep saying are elitist, but I have to start with what hurts me personally. Get rid of that VIP culture. I can't stand that. I just I can't stand it. I know that we in the list yeah, of problems we that we have, <laughs> it's low in most people's priority. But I just I think it just it just tells us what's wrong with the country. Mm. Just wasting your money and time on this nonsense, this mm. frills and pomp and oh man, please stop that. All that money can go into you becoming prime minister, or you starting a business, you know, yeah. or, or even Shriyas finally getting a writer for a stand-up. Uh, yeah. yeah, and yeah, not writing like shitty advertisements no, for shitty whatever gun yeah. they advertise. What did he come up? Uh, what was that? Uh, you came up with the name Coca-Cola. Who says that makes sense? <laughs> really? This doesn't even make sense. Why would you come up with that? Really? Yeah. But uh, thank you so much, Cyrus, for doing this with us. Uh, Shreyas, it was very painful, but you know, I mean, I had to do it. Amit said, "Just please do it, otherwise, then there'll be problems." There will be problems. Yeah. 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 But, this but, is Amit uh, Doshi. Yes. Just to clarify. Yes. yes. Uh, I mean, it can be the no, other no, no, Amit, but no. like, you wouldn't. Why yeah, would you? Why would? Why? Just stick. We ended nicely with yeah. BJ. Why would he go anywhere now after that? But uh, uh, thank you. Your producer has not laughed once. Huh? <laughs> no. She's not even smiled. 
she's just she's only asking her she's calling her dad just now to say why am i here <laughs> no and whether the family business there's space for her or not she did have an issue with you coming on the episode she was like we need someone high profile yeah. i was yeah. like no, no he's no, fine he's good she she was like why an activist <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching How to Citizen season two. Uh, we will be back with season three, maybe. But you're not convinced. Uh, you're saying maybe. Maybe, yeah, it's a maybe. No, we'll absolutely come back with season three and with some special episodes also. And as more and more okay, chapters. Okay, so keep I understand what deleted. you're saying. Your point is basically that you'll be back. Yeah, but I mean, you don't no, know if you'll he'll just, bring he'll him. He'll be back. He's just super he's so empty. clear <laughs> because he's called dad. <laughs> so sponsor mil gaya. That's done now. But make that you may have to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he doesn't right. want to share. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back with the season three and next season we have some ideas which. Oh will my god! The first the guest season. is gonna blow your fucking mind. After today, they're not expecting. anything <laughs> unless you can get the guy who wrote bj <laughs> see you in the next season bye